Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you had a good week and for those of you moms that had kids starting school, I hope it went well. And um, thank you for all your just wonderful response on my last video. Um, it was, it's good to, you know, talk to each other and realize and I have just one. like all kinds of stuff here I want to show you. And I did not get the only clothes or shoes. I got no shoes this week and the only clothes that I got was this dress and so I'll show you that when I do my outfit of the day and um, so I'll start off with I got a gift in the mail from Lisa, Joanna. She doesn't do YouTube videos but she does have a really good Instagram. She works out, she does outfits of the day. I love seeing happy pictures of her and her husband and um, but she said that she saw this and thought of me and I love it. It's a belt with lips and I always forget. Okay here it is. When I was trying it on I kept thinking I needed to turn it the other way but oh it is so pretty and I was trying it on I think I had a dress on that day for some reason I don't know what dress I would have been wearing I think it was a maxi dress or something and it really looked good even with that so thank you very much Joanna that was so sweet and it just makes me smile and makes me feel good that you would think about me you know when we're not here you know watching this and then she has sent me so much, so many cards and the sweetest notes. This is from Emily, one of my subscribers, and she sent me this beautiful card that I love. I, I would love to have those shoes. So thank you, Emily. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And then, of course, Sassy is going to come here right now and bless me with her presence. <laughs> But, um, okay, so I'm just going to kind of start right here so I can get this stuff out of my way. One of my Instagram followers tagged me on Instagram, and she had posted a picture of this brush. So I immediately, first I remembered I had five bucks that I needed to use at CVS, those bucks back on the receipt. And, <clears throat> excuse me, let me get some of my drink real quick. I think I hear John coming. He's, um... He had to do, he had to work last night, so he came home this morning and went back to bed and he went to the gym, and so he'll be coming home soon, so I might have to take a little break. Anyway, so I went and got it, and it is the May, MUA Professional Crease Brush. I have seen brush. these in there, and, you know, thought, I wonder if they're any good, or I wonder if they're the same ones that I remember, you know, others of you talking about, but I had never tried any, and so I bought it, and... But my first thoughts were it was a lot smaller than her picture looked. And then I got in the car and opened it up and I thought it's, you know, it's a good size and it's real soft, but I didn't know if it was going to be too, you know, flimsy or whatever. And she said that it was a perfect brush for highlight and smoking out underneath the eyes. So today I remembered it and I came out here and got it because I just got it, I think, day before yesterday. And I used it to go under my eyes, and it is perfect. It is probably the best brush I've ever used for. Now, I don't really, I'm not good at the whole smoking out thing. I've got to really work on that. I'm not good at doing liner and smoking out, which I really didn't want to do that today. But I did want to add just a little bit of shadow right there. And, I mean, this little brush did it perfectly. It was almost like the perfect size for my lower lid. And... It was, I think, $11, and I had the $5 off, so thank you so much, and I do think that it is totally yeah. worth it. Let's see. Let's go with this bag, and I wanted to tell you, too, I was just thinking when I got my drink out of the bathroom. Last night, I got in the shower, washed my hair, and used one of these sets of shampoo and conditioner I'm going to tell you about, and got out, and I thought, well, I haven't curled my hair in so long. I haven't curled my hair since I cut it. So I'm going to curl it with the curling iron. My hot tools, like one and a half inch. I did not even know what to do with this hair. First of all, it's, you know, these pieces back here are so short now. And look how healthy and like thick it is back there. It's so nice. I'm still waiting on my sides to healthy up some because they're longer. But so I kind of just curled it all the way around. And because it's not layered, it's layered a little bit right up in here. But back there, it's, you know, pretty much all one length. It just didn't, I'm just not used to working with it. So it looked terrible, but I just thought, okay, well, I'll sleep on it. And if it doesn't look good in the morning, I'll just put it in a ponytail because I do really like my hair this length in a ponytail. It's just easy and it's a, a neat little nice ponytail. And it just looked terrible this morning. So 
I took another shower, shaved the whole thing, and got ready like old times. You know, when I used to work and everything, I took a shower every morning and put my hair up in the turban towel thing and um, did my makeup. And I forgot how much better <laughs> you look when you're putting your makeup on with your hair up in that towel. And you know, it's kind of like pulling back on your face and say so your eyebrows are real high and your skin's real tight and then as soon as you take that thing out it's like reality <laughs> so i got a, a t another taste of that today and so that is why my hair is a little fluffier but i'm going to tell you about some products that one of my instagram followers told me about that i love okay so going into this box i went yesterday fast as i could to Ulta. I think I went to Ulta almost every day this week because in the summer I couldn't go as much and I just think I had, let's see, Monday I went to get this. I'll go ahead and show you. We were in one of our favorite restaurants this weekend, uh, Carabas, just one of our all-time favorite restaurants, and the manager had this lipstick on and it was beautiful and the first time she came over and talked to us, I noticed it, but I didn't want to interrupt and I didn't, you know, I only have nerve to ask certain people what they're wearing, but she ended up stopping by again and talking and it just still looked so pretty and just perfect. And it was a beautiful red color. And I asked her, I said, what lipstick do you have on? It's so pretty. And she said, it is an Ulta color. She said, I have tried MAC, every other red. This is the only one that doesn't bleed. And it was just perfectly this red, number lips, 202. And I bought it and it is gorgeous. It is a true red. I don't know. My nails are OPI Cajun Shrimp. I had to go get that color since we mentioned it the other day. But, so I guess it would be kind of an orangey red, just a true red, and I'm not gonna put it on now, of course. I wore it that afternoon that I got it, and that day I had on, let's see, lashes, black liner, and I had put on a gray shadow out of, what palette? It was a palette that I, just grab the gray. Oh, it was out of that new Stila palette that I showed you guys. The real pretty gold one, and it looked gorgeous. It, it just it so went really pretty. well with my skin tone, and I'm not sure how much it was, but I'm sure it was not very much. And they always run these on special, so I was excited to tell you about this. I've really got some good bargains this week. I'm proud of myself. So that is one of them I want to tell you about that I got on Monday, and then. Kate that does my hair, she's off on Monday and Tuesday. And it's probably a good thing because I always, I just want her to be there so bad because I get the bug to do something. And I had the bug to maybe cut my hair. You can see how it's like hitting right at my shoulders. And I swear, I think it's already grown so much that I was thinking about getting it cut up to this layer and kind of doing more of a bob but I went in there, I made an appointment for Wednesday when she came back and I chickened out. My mom said, that's really gonna take you to a short look, you know, and so I chickened out and I went back in there Wednesday and she really didn't wanna do it. She said, come on, let's just wait until those sides grow out a little bit more. And um, so I said, okay, well, I'm going in there, I think not next week, but the next week for my roots. I said, um, we'll just trim it every time. So I'll just get a trim next time. But you can see what I mean, you know. Um, well, hello, Chanel. How are you? Chanel likes to lay behind me. She's already purring. Hey, pretty girl. Mommy loves you. And um, so she'll probably lay behind me or she'll try to get my stuff. Either one. Don't even look at this stuff. Don't even look at it. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. Let's see, went in there Wednesday, and what did I get? I think I got Brooke something. I can't even remember. But anyway, could not wait to go yesterday and get da -da -da -da, the <laughs> Naked 2 palette, Naked Basics 2. I had been like haunting them all week, wanting to know when they got it, and I had heard the 28th. They told me maybe Friday, but I had heard the 28th, and sure enough, that morning I got an Ulta email. So I got it, and here it is, and I have it on today. And I'm so glad my past, my last video, not my last two, but my last video, I wore the Naked Basics 1 palette, which I brought out here too. 
So this is the Naked Basics all, one, one of palette. my all-time favorite palettes. I always start off with this color in the crease. I deepen it after I do my liner with that. And then I like Foxy for my highlight. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful palette. Definitely, I like that one much better than the three other Urban Decay palettes I have. Okay, this is the new one. And it looks so similar. I mean, every time I saw a picture, I really could not even tell the difference. And even when I posted a picture of it on Instagram, it didn't look that different to me. But it is. Um, okay, this is a new one. This is the old one. So you can see there's like one more of a mid-tone color. And then the end right here is not black. It's like a dark gray. And it's a neat color. It's like a grayish purple. So this is what I have on today. This is what I have on, had on in my last video with no additional colors. And in both videos, I believe I have on the brown Wet n Wild liquid liner just to do something different and soften it up a little bit. So my reaction on this is just, it's fabulous. And I still was just having to look at this and make sure I had the right one in my hand. It just looks so close. So today I used I used every color except for, I don't think I used this lightest one or the darkest one. So I think I used those four colors in the middle. And it is very easy. It's just so easy. And Chanel, please, you know what she's doing? I wish that I could just show you guys. I have to tuck my little um, tassels off of my Balenciaga City bag. I have to tuck them all in my bag so that the cats won't chew on them. So she is over there. She had her head down in my pocket looking for that tassel. Okay, please be a good girl. Okay, will you be a good girl? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? So anyway, if you were on the fence about getting this, get it. If you thought you didn't need it because it's like too much like the first one, it isn't. It's much grayer, smokier, not as warm perfect wonderful just can't say enough good about it okay so i got that then it cosmetics i knew this was going to happen because i the manager justina told me they came out with some new brushes for ulta and i love the brushes from it cosmetics that ball brush is just fabulous so i grabbed this one which is the airbrush blurring foundation brush number 101 and I used it today, and I liked it. It was not just something, oh, so wonderful. I mean, it was, um, it was good. It's small. It's a small brush for me to use for foundation. I will say that. But it just went on like a dream. And, of course, I always use my Rachel K. Fair underneath it. I let it dry. And then I kind of dot dot my foundation on, which I'm wearing a new one, and then I go and bu lightly buff it in, but you can see it buffed in really, really well. So I do like it. Um, I'm trying to think. The other brushes I have like this are the Sephora Mineral Brush, and I think I might have, oh, the, that Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Mm. I like the shape of this one better. Anyway, I'll let you know. I've only used it one time, so I'll let you know if it's you know a must-have. Okay, this brush, I had to have it. It's so soft. And so, you know, I've been into the big powder brushes lately, thinking maybe I've been using too small of a brush for my bronzer and maybe pow mineral powder and stuff. Maybe I need to go to a bigger brush. And I love that black Sephora brush that I got. I'll put the number right here or the name of it. So I grabbed this, and it's so soft, and I loved it. But look at this look at all it is shedding so bad there were hairs all over my face i mean in my eyelashes all over i mean it was giving me the heebie-jeebies i mean it was just like i could i felt like i could not get them off like cat hair or something so but i have not washed it i just you know pulled it out and i wanted to use it today just to tell you about it it's super soft you know so let me you know i don't know if that would bother you guys I'll wash it, and if it keeps on doing it, it'll bother me, but, you know, sometimes you just need to wash them one time and get those stray ones that didn't get hair products. products out. And I'm all about the hair products right now because my hair is just so different. You know, of course, with no extensions and just wanting different things out of it, 
and being able to wash it so much more. And so <clears throat> I'm all about hair products and different you know ways to style it and stuff. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. So one of my um, Instagram followers, Hillary Davison, said that she had gotten her hair cut similar to mine. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, I, I even told her, I said, yeah, I said, but I like yours more. I said, what's different? And she said that she thinks hers is shorter. Hers really kind of just does this a little bit shorter. And um, then I asked her what products she used because I loved the way her hair was separate, but not, but still fluffy. So I've got the products that she told me to use in today. And it does, see how it's, it's fluffy and silky, but it's still separated. And so this is a screenshot, did a screenshot of what she told me that she used. And I went to the place in town, it's a different salon than I go to, and bought all the products that she told me to. They're Bumble and Bumble, and they didn't have one. So I had to order it from Sephora. And that is the, um, let's see, it's just like the shampoo. Oh gosh, my shampoo's in the shower. Sassy's over here putting my purse now. She is the main tassel chewer. <laughs> Do you hear me talking about you? Okay, so the thing I had to order was the, she for one, once a week, she uses the Bumble and Bumble Mending Mask. And I told her I got everything that she told me, but I didn't get that. And she said, well, you really should get that. It's, you know, phenomenal. So I did. I ordered it from Sephora and I um, hadn't gotten here yet. But I, what she uses is she uses the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Shampoo, and then she uses the Bumble and Bumble Mending Conditioner, and then she uses the Mending Mask once a week, and love these. I love that this feels like it gets my hair clean. It doesn't feel like it strips well, it at I all. I love that this gets it clean and it doesn't strip it, but then you go right behind it with a really conditioning, you know, conditioner. And this is for the truly damaged hair. And, <laughs> which my hair will always be damaged to the point of, you know, bleaching it, you know. So I know that's always gonna be good. It's supercharged formula, repair chemically damaged hair for strength, shine, and protection. And um, it says to put it in and wait one to two minutes and to rinse. And what I've been doing is putting this in and then putting it in well. I usually put it in three steps. I'll put one little handful in the end of my hair. I'll put one, you know, down the side so it gets my size real good. And then I'll put another and just run it, you know, through my, all of my hair. Get, make sure I get it all in there. And then I do my Clarisonic. So I know that's one good full minute that's been there. And then I try to wait another minute. And... So that's what I've been doing and what I did today. And then she said she uses the Bumble and Bumble Grooming Cream. Which is super nice. It's, I was worried it was gonna be something that made my hair sticky or where the round brush wouldn't go through it, but it doesn't. It's the Dream Cream for those who love the look of polished, elegant, and smooth, but hate to work at it. And it is, it makes it so smooth and your you know, dryer and round brush, you know, it goes right through it. And then she said she works a just a little bit of this in the ends. And this is the Ojan oil. There were three different kinds. I bought this one, which is the main one. And um, it's three different, oh, when you watch the videos, it's hilarious. It's, they've traveled all over the world and gotten three different amazing, the most wonderful oils and blended them together. And you shake it like that. And then they tell you just to get a little dab and work it through all your hair. Well, it's not that thick. The Enjoy oil is thicker than that. But, um, but I have been using it. I've used it like literally putting just a dot in with this, but I like just using this by itself and then taking this after I've dried it and running it through I the ends. Go with the round brush or not the round brush, but the flat iron or curling iron, which that was a disaster, the flat iron. So, so far now I don't know, you know, I don't know if this was necessary as far as all the other oils I've got. I've got every oil there is. I don't need to put it back in the box. I was gonna show you the box that it comes in so that you at Ulta, you'll know, but it's um, rare oils, rare blend oil, total hair therapy. That's the one I got. And, um, but I wanted to get exactly what she used. You know what I mean? And I figured we would use it between Brooke and I. And then 
she said if she wants a little texture and wants it to be a little bit undone she uses the surf spray so luckily they had a little bottle i could get because i used this one day after getting this stuff and i think i used too much so i haven't used it again and um but i'll try it again and let you know i've just been enjoying it being kind of um just more silky the day i used it i put too much and it got frizzy on me so but that is what she uses to get kind of the undone look. And I will give you updates to see how I think it is. Because that stuff's kind of expensive. Okay. So, speaking of expensive, I have something, some expensive things to show you. And I have a non-expensive thing. I was watching, oh gosh, I'll put her name down here. I know it's Jen. And I cannot remember, I think her jewelry line is L&M. But I'll put her name, I'll just put her link down below. And I was watching one of her favorites videos and she mentioned this, which is the ELF HD Blush in Superstar. And I just bought this yesterday. I bought one for me. I bought the same color for my mom. And then I bought the one that was to the left of this that's lighter for Brooke. And wow, that is the most pigmented, strong, bright blush. It is gorgeous, but I do not know how to use it yet. I put it on last night before I got in the shower and I looked like I had either been slapped on both cheeks. I couldn't even, and it stained. It was even, I put it on my lips. It was so pretty and it was such a stain. But, um, and then once I had gotten it on, I couldn't get it off. And my mom put it on her hand. I took it to her last night and she was like, woo! <laughs> you know? It was like our whole hand. I mean, a little teeny tiniest bit goes so, so far. So, I wanted to show it to you it was like three dollars and there were several pretty colors and i mainly wanted to ask you what do you use if any of you use this or the makeup for everyone what brush that i use a stippling brush or you know what are your tips on that and then i wanted you to be able to get it and try it too because it's worth the money just to try it okay so let's see we've got all the hair stuff out of the way um this week another thing that i was into and was on my mind was my makeup i love my makeup forever 128 i love my laura mercier my rachel k those are my steadies and they are what i always go back to but i always have that quest for something more i don't know what gets into me and then i always go back and wonder what was i doing but i think it was monsieur alex mentioned the new dior star foundation here it is and it just for some reason just got my attention and then when i read about it it sounded like too good to be true it's studio makeup spectacular brightening weightless perfection and so i watched a couple of reviews and went online and read about it and decided i wanted to try it so i went in and one of my friends that i went to school with is the manager there and so we had fun that day and the color I ended up getting is 40. And I believe it's called Honey Beige, if you look up the name. And it is just a beautiful color. Now you can see in the bottle, it looks so much, try to get the glare off, it looks so much darker. But when you put it on, it is not that dark. Now if I wanted to go a step lighter, or if you are about my same color, and you wear a lot of the same colors I do, and this scares you, then 30 medium beige is going to be your color and i could wear that but then again i would have to do a bunch of bronzing and i was i'm trying to get away from that sometimes so beautiful it's almost too good to be true i almost cannot believe it it's the most beautiful coverage the most beautiful color lasts all day doesn't get too oily doesn't break up I still use it over my Rachel K because I, I need that for my pores and stuff. I mean, if you have another primer you use, which speaking of, I'm going to show you another one, then you might like it over a primer. It might not even need a primer, but I just like the way on my chin and stuff it looks better over my Rachel K. And um, pump, just, I cannot say one negative thing about it. And I have worn it, I think, three days. So... I would just, if I were you, I would get a sample if you, you know, were not confident, but um, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I've seen people put it on with beauty blenders. I used my, br I used that new brush today, and before that, I used the angled 
um, a Sedona lace brush that I like to use with my Makeup Forever and um, it's just gorgeous. Now, don't one thing that kind of scared me at first is they kept talking about how thin it was. It's not thin like one of those shaky kind of thins because I really just don't like those. They're not yummy foundations to me. They don't, um, they give more of a powdery look to me and they're not as good a coverage. This is beautiful. I don't think I've tried anything like this since the old Chanel Pro Lumiere. And this is even better because the Pro Lumiere could get shiny but just gorgeous. Can't say enough good about it so far. So I got that and oh, she was showing me everything and she has shown me this. She tries to sell me this every single time I go in there and it is the Dior Skin Air Flash Primer Spray. And so I listened to her and I, you know, I told her I have something I use for primer. Well, this time she did this. She said, oh, I love it for this. She said, even if I don't use it for primer, it's one of our top selling, you know, products. She did this and where you just spray some on your hand and it's, you know, gives a lot of radiance. And then she patted it like right there on the tops of my cheeks and right under my eyes. And I haven't used it today, so we'll see what you guys think. But it looked so pretty when she did it. And, um, so I don't know. Can you guys tell a difference? And so, this is the real kicker. Um, she did this, and then we went on, and then I rubbed it in like this. Okay, then we went on looking at some other stuff and talking and everything. And I ended up looking at my hand, and it was gorgeous. I mean, just, it's so pretty. It reminds me of when I use that RMS Living Luminizer. It's that kind of luminizer. It's almost like no shimmer, no sheen, no powder. It's not like that kind of luminizer. It just gives that brightening effect. And so that's why I got it. Now I haven't used it as a true, you know, primer because I don't know, I mean, I might like it. I'll try it one day when I, you know, when, like on a Saturday or something, but it's Radiance Boosting Color Correcting Primer, CC Primer. So, if any of you have tried it, let us know what you think. And, um, you know, so far, I like it. And they were having a buy three products, get a free gift. And it is this. And I'm not even going to, it's the pouch. I've shown you guys this before. It, you can almost use it as a clutch. It's a little black pouch. And then it has like some skincare things in it, I believe. But I don't want to take this out um, because I want to be able to give it to somebody, you know. And um, so that's what they're doing at Dillard's. And I will put their number down below and her name. And a lot of you guys have called there before and ordered because not all Dillard's do, or not all Dior's or Dillard's do the same, you know, specials. So I was telling her, you know, when I started off with the, she was good. She, she really sold me that day. I was t when I started off with the foundation, I told her, I even showed her two pictures of Dina Manzo off of the New Jersey Housewives. She is one of my all-time favorite housewives. She reminds me so much of myself. I can see so much, I mean, I just relate to her is what I'm saying. She loves animals and I think she has the best heart, but she's funny. I just, I love following her on Instagram and her cats, and her chihuahua, and just anyway, and I love her foundation and her makeup all the time, so I showed her two pictures of her, and so she ended up selling me this, saying that this would give me that look, this was probably the bronzer I was looking for, and it is the Nude, which I've had these before, but I don't think I'd ever had this one, this is a 002 Light, and she said this is the one that they use when they want to just put a big brush in it. I told her, I said, I want something I can put a big brush in and just do it all over my face, not contour. And she said that this is it. And it is beautiful and I'm gonna keep it, but I have been having to use this on my cheeks more than all over my face because just that little bit of pink gives me too much pink in my skin for my taste. It might, you know, on someone else, they might like it or you might think it looks good, but for me, it puts too much color on my skin but it's beautiful when i just do over like the apples of my cheeks i love it it's i really don't even need to use a blush with it but um like today i did i used a little bit of um a 
Deborah Milano blush. It's kind of light, but anyway, so it's really pretty. I could pretty. have stopped there, but I happened to see this. And it's a new lipstick, and it's called 338 Mirage. And it's a beautiful peachy color. It's what I have on now. And it comes in the Addict Extreme formula, which is the one that I got. This one has more of a solid color. It still has a shine, and it's long wearing. And then it comes in the other ones that are glossy and kind of sheer, which I love. But nine times out of ten, I want something with more color than that. So I got this, and... After I got it, I thought, why did I get that? I've got so many peachy lipsticks, but it is so pretty. And this is all I have on today. No liner, no gloss. It would look good with Celeste. Buck some Celeste over it, but uh, it's just pretty. And I think it gives a perfect amount of color to still be kind of like a nudie peach type color, but still brightening. And when I'm wearing lashes and heavier eye makeup, sometimes I just like a gloss or... You know, I don't want the whole Here, John, shebang, he does so this a lot. That. When he gets home from the gym, he figures he's already sweaty and everything, and he's going to get in the shower, so he starts. He hasn't even come in, but he's out there blowing, using the blower, and blowing out the garage and blowing off the driveway. So if you hear that, that's okay. What two things, three things I wanted to show you that I um, actually, two things I just got last week, and I didn't show you because I had so much other stuff. I didn't want to overdo it. But this is another of the Tom Benz necklaces that I got from my friend Erica, her store Hitchcock Madrona in Washington, Seattle, Washington, Washington State. I had bought a necklace from her that had a bunch of different chains with it, and when I got it, I wasn't real crazy about it, so I sent it back and I exchanged it for this because my great big Tom Benz necklace that is just with the rhinestones i love it it's beautiful but i like it more like in i'm gonna use it more in the winter like underneath a blazer or underneath the leather jacket it's just so big i wanted a smaller one so she had this necklace and it's just gorgeous so it's the it's like i got the biggest one and the smallest one now that he makes this is a real small one for him and his stuff it comes in this you know nice packaging and here's the name Tom Benz and a nice box with like leather on the inside just beautiful and like even the clasp has the little rhinestones on it and there's the little tag and I am gonna love just I thought about wearing it today but to be honest I'll probably wear flip-flops today and I thought well but um this is gonna be perfect for layering like this the other little necklace I have on and maybe a silver necklace or something. It's just, I love it. So really, really pretty. And I love that there's pearls So I got that too. and then and she sent me one of her, you know, I showed you the Druzy ring that they make and is real popular for their store. Well, she sent me another one of their signature uh, creations, designs, and this is their leather bracelet and this is the sterling silver one. They also have brown and they have copper, which would be like a rose gold, and then I think they have brass, which would be a gold. And I told her, I cannot believe that something so simple is so fabulous. I love this thing. I have worn it every day. It this week, I don't every day. It so I can show you how well made, because they're not they're not cheap, but they're not they're not cheap. And um, let's see, I'll show you. This is what's neat about it. See how it's already curved and it's really thick. And she said it's kind of like, you know, a pair of fry boots or something. You can wear it. You can just keep it on. And they look good on men, too. I don't know if there's like a different men's size because this one really fits my arm well. And it's got a real thick sterling silver, you know, top. And um, she said that some people do get them engraved. But I have just enjoyed this. It's kind of... It's kind of like that tough moto look when I want to wear something it's like this. very comfortable. It's almost like a bangle and a leather bracelet all in one. And um, it looks really good when you stack stuff with it. I haven't because I've enjoyed the simplicity of it. So wanted to show you those. And of course, I'll put her number and um, name and her blog down below because she puts a lot of pictures. Maybe I'll put her Instagram because she puts a lot of pictures there. And um, I thought about... Here's okay, John. He just now. went through. Okay, and then this is something that I bought when we were in Raleigh. We were leaving. I mean, we were like 
in that, you know, when you, there's a different walk you do. And you know, we were in that walk where we were just headed out. We had already gone to Cheesecake Factory. We were just leaving. We were ready to come home. And I looked over and saw a sunglass shop. It First it looked like Sunglass Hut, but it's a place called Solstice. I have the bag around here somewhere. And it was like sunglasses heaven. I mean, every designer that I've never seen, um, the People's brand, a wall full of Chanel sunglasses, Gucci, Valentino, every kind of sunglasses. So I had to go in there. And I tried on probably, I don't know, 20 pair of glasses. And because the bridge of my nose is so thin, most glasses don't fit me. So he ended up right at the end showing me these and I love and these, these look really similar to the Miranda and I just sold the Mirandas because they were a little I'd had them for a while and they were a little too big and I was just ready to move on and but these are similar with the crisscross these are called Colette C-O-L-E-T-T-E -T -T -E. and they are I don't know why I've got my Mr. Haney voice today I'm running out of voice but I love them they fit they're very very they're lighter than the Miranda the frame is lighter and they're not quite as big and I love the gradient lens so I wanted to show those to you and they come in different yeah, so colors I to show those to you and I think that's it so I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go enjoy your weekend the dress I have on is, now that school's back in, I can go to places like Target and stuff that I just, I mean, we'd go every once in a while, but you know, you go to more places like that. And I saw this dress and I love it. It's just like a little baby doll dress. It's exhilaration. I got this small, it was $24.99 and um, it's called Heather Gray and the numbers are 502824 and I did like see it online. Little high waist and um, a good neckline it's very very soft I love the sleeves they're rolled up and like you know just sewn for one time and I think it's a good length and this would look really really good matter of fact let me go get my booty shade they look, it looks really good with booties I have it on today with flip-flops <laughs> but this will be better so they look just dresses like this I think look really good with booties and these are old they're my Gianni beanie booties that I've had forever that there will never be another, I tell you. They're just awesome. Very comfortable. So you could do this look and it would look great with a leather jacket over it. Perfect transition dress. It's kind of like a little light sweater type material. And um, so now I'll put my flip flops on unless you see it like that too. And then this is how I'm going to wear it today. <laughs> so just one of those versatile little dresses. But, um, so my earrings are just some of my favorites. They are the Everybody's Favorite Hoops Sheila Fajal in the Oxidized or Gunmetal. And then this is, Sheila is the sweetest girl in the world. This is a necklace that she has made for me with a beautiful, she knows I love the hangers. I mean, she knew it before I got my tattoo. I had shown her a couple of my hangers and I asked her if she had ever done this because I was, Actually, I have a little Forever 21 hanger that um, Kate, the girl that does my hair, had given me. And um, so she did this for me. And um, I will put a picture at the end. And she sent this to me with a few more that I'm going to have on my website. And she just wanted to make sure that I liked it first. But what I love about it is I like the length. There is an extender on it that will make it longer. But I like the short length because it's going to look so good layered. And I love that it is the gunmetal because I just love that. Like the, with the shark's tooth or something, I just like the, that mix. And with leather jackets, it's perfect. So thank you, Sheila. And um, I just love it. It's so a, I hope you guys so have a wonderful weekend. I told you I have the uh, Cajun shrimp on my hands. No fragrance yet. And have a good weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.